By the way, I just want to say something. Shower scam. I love your content so much, and you'll always be my favorite YouTuber. Keep up the amazing work. Um. It's going to be a good one. But before we get to any of that, I think we should just get it out of the way. Since it is Friday, it is my day back, 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 from my day off yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen. It is time for Phil's Day Off. If it's not fun, why bother? You know, I really should remember to change the battery on this thing. Anyway, Phil's day off yesterday. Let's just talk about it, alright? So yesterday was my day, first day off in a week. It was incredibly hot. It was in the mid-90s here in Washington with clouds. Whoa, that's interesting, but I sure don't care. If there was no cloud cover yesterday, it probably would have been over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is quite hot for us to see you guys now. Today, we are cooking a whole hog. Um. So, what did I do yesterday? You know, we can say the usual. I had to run errands. I had to get some supplies here and there. Um. Grocery shopping, etc. Let's face it. Your life is boring as f Now, one of the things that we've done over the past two weeks that's been very interesting and very fun, if you remember, a new series that I do every Sunday night called Sunday Night Bites. It is me playing Bass Master Fishing 2022, which is on Xbox Game Pass. This is a game that we flagged much earlier this year for me to possibly play as a chill stream. We finally got a chance to play it. It's awesome. You love it, I love it. It lends to tons of fun discussion and interaction between us while I'm trying to catch fish in a game that's, quite frankly, kind of silly. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard, you imbecile. And uh, it's a great time. You know, when I've fished in other games before, it's always been a fun and chill time. And now having an entire game dedicated to that is kind of just right on target for what we want for a relaxing stream. Now, we came up with the idea that for Sunday Night Bites, every Sunday night, if we hit a hundred dollars... Oh my control, god! What the fuck? Whoa! 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 Oh, don't lose them. What in the fuck god was that, bison. dude? You know, I'm gonna have to put bison on the bottom. Sorry, bison, you got demoted to the bottom because you keep falling. Okay. So... If we get a $100 tips goal when I'm doing Sunday Night Bites, I put on my fisherman's hat. And since you guys have really committed in the last two weeks to showing up and supporting these streams, I said, hey, I'll go the extra mile for you guys. This week, when I have my day off, I will head out and I will get some fishing lures. And every week when we hit the $100 tips goal on this stream, I will add a new fishing lure to the hat. So every week it'll look a little different. It'll become our little interactive project. Right. Every week that we do a chill stream, I think it'll be really neat. And it's a way to have something cool and different for the streams. Um... I was totally down for that. Sounds like a great idea. Right? I think so. So anyway. Um. Yesterday was my day off, and while I was out and about running my errands and doing my usual things, I said, I'll go look for fishing lures. If you notice that people seem sleepy or disinterested when you talk, you might not be all that exciting to talk to or listen to. So, thinking about the different places to go to look for fishing lures. What's the first place you would think of to go to? Probably a sporting goods shop. Right. Well, we have a sporting goods shop in our area. It's called Dick's Sporting Goods. I walk in and I start looking. I say, okay, here's the sports section. So they got baseball. They've got basketball. Okay, let's keep going. Head further to the back. Golf. They have a whole golf section. Golf clubs, golf accessories. Okay, head further to the back. Workout section. Weights. Stretchy bands. Yoga mats. Things like that. All right. Let's curve around the edge here. So I curve around the back. The entire back of it is... Shoes. Sneakers. Fine. Hiking boots. Keep going. Back corner is canoeing and outdoorsman-like stuff. So like ah, we're getting there. We're almost there. Get to the point and actually stop rambling. They've got canoe paddles. They've got canoes. They've got flotation devices, right? They've got outdoor camping stuff. So a whole bunch of tents, outdoor like folding chairs, thermoses, things to make outdoor fire pits and things. All this stuff. Oh, this all sounds great. And I keep going. All right. I'm like, okay, uh, wait, let's keep going. Okay, outdoor sports. They have this thing. It's actually funny because Kat and I have been watching Shark Tank recently. 
And we're still so many seasons behind. We're like watching like 2014, 2015 or something like that. So we're like eight years behind. And they did this thing called Spike Ball. <laughs> this idea that there's a trampoline and a bunch of people have a ball and they smack the ball at the trampoline. It's kind of like volleyball mini, mini, mini. But it's supposed to be like a portable volleyball. They have it. A dick. Like a giant end cap of it. By the way, completely stocked. No one bought any of it. It's just sitting there. I mean, you're talking eight years after it appeared on Shark Tank. It's probably not popular anymore. Oh, it's still there. So they got that. My kind of way of telling him is kind of going all around the world, but it's the yeah, journey well, that's Well, I, I see right. that, but, you know, he's been here for 15 minutes, and you have, you know, talked about everything. What do you but care? I'm just doing all this stuff. You know, I'm working on, like, okay. So then finally I realized I'm in the front of the store again. I'm in the baseball section again. Wait, what? Like, what, did I miss it? How could I? Let me go back. So I go back. I'm in the outdoorsman section now. Right. <clears throat> Basically what they have is a bunch of survival gear. But I'm also noticing there's nothing here for hunting at all. And there's nothing here for fishing at all. What gives? So. I grab a store associate. And I say. Hey. Where's your fishing stuff? And they smile and say, we haven't had that in years. You are Dick's sporting goods, right? Like sporting. And here's the thing that these companies are getting confused. Do you know the difference between sports and sporting? Sport. Noun. Plural noun, sports. 1. An activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. Sporting. Adjective. 1. Connected with or interested in sports. Okay, a sport is an athletic competition, such as American football or soccer, which is international football, Basketball, baseball. Those are sports. Sporting is different. And now, here's that man with a head just crammed full of knowledge, Mr. Know-it-all. There's things that you do that are a competitive sport, and then there's things you do... For sport. Okay. Hunting, fishing, camping, outdoor survivalist, hiking. That's also sporting. It's not meant to be a competitive deal. In most cases, I mean, let's be honest, there are fishing and hunting competitions. But you understand there's a difference. It's actually two completely different categories of things. Apparently, Dick's Sporting Goods is so dumb of a company, they don't understand that they're different. They actually think it's the same word. It's not. Sporting. Connected with or interested in sports. They don't know there's a difference between the two. So... They actually phased out... Fishing. And when I came home, I went online with my wife and we looked it up. What happened was... Get this. Over the last decade, as you guys know, here in the United States, there has been a... Heinous. ...amount of mass shootings. In particular, a lot of school shootings. Okay. And at one point in the last decade, one of the people in charge of Dick's, I don't think they are anymore, but they were in charge of Dick's Sporting Goods, decided we're not going to sell guns anymore because we're afraid that, we, you know, this could lead to some of these, these incidents in the United States. I mean, it's a noble cause, but... I'm not necessarily sure there's ever any evidence that someone walked into a Dick's Sporting Goods and started blowing people away. A shattered window and a looming police presence. The aftermath of a violent scene blocking the entrance of Dick's Sporting Goods for hours. Um, and of course there's the whole debate about the right to bear arms and all that in the United States. So I'm not going to get into the politics of it right now, okay? <clears throat> but here's what I don't get. At the same time they made that decision, that same CEO, whoever was ahead of, uh, in charge of the company, made the same decision that they also were going to phase out the fishing stuff for the same reasons. For the same reasons.
But man, you know, not to make light of the insanely bad situation we have here in the United States, I 100% am in agreement with most people. Something has to be done to stop these mass shootings. And it seems like our government just doesn't do shit. They, they're not equipped to handle it or they just don't care for whatever reason. Okay. But I don't really remember a time that I heard about the mass fishing incident when a bunch of people got hooked by fishing rods and lures. I just don't recall that happening. So when they grouped in, let's phase out our fishing equipment the same time we phase out our hunting equipment. I'm a little skeptical about that. That doesn't seem to make much sense to me, okay? So... I, I'm a little confused and scratching my head here. No shit, Sherlock. Um... About what happened? So... The thing that sucks is there used to be other sporting goods stores in my area, and they went out of business. Like, there used to be... What was the other one that was a big one? That was a sporting goods store. Um... It wasn't Dix, it was their major competitor. Because it's funny enough, in the same building this Dix is in, used to be their major competitor. But their competitor... Sports Authority, that's what it was. Thank you. Sports Authority. That store used to be a sports authority. They went out of business, and then Dix bought the building, or, or leased the building, and now it's a Dix Sporting Goods. So... I know for a fact Sports Authority at one point had fishing stuff. I used to go to that store and see it in there. Phil is an ass. Which is probably why I thought in my head, oh, go there to get fishing stuff. So it sucks because... They didn't have anything. I'm like, damn, I went out of my way to go to Dix. It's out of my way. It wasn't a long... You know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh, right there next to another building I needed to go to. I went there out of the way to get stuff for you guys for Sunday. They didn't have nothing. So I said, on a whim, a place that was along my way was Target. I went in there, they don't have shit. They barely have any sports stuff at all at this point. So... I was like, damn, so I, the only thing I can really do on a short notice. Now shut your bitch ass up! 